it's been an absolute age since I've picked up the camera and I am sincerely sorry for that. Um, with everything that's been going on with lockdown, I haven't quite felt comfortable to film or vlog anything, so I just didn't bother. Um, my mental health was all over the place, a bit like everybody else. Um, my eating disorder was um, out of control to say the least, but the good thing is I am back. I am feeling fantastic. My mental health has never been better. My eating disorder is finally under control and I think for the first time in around 11 years I can finally say that I am actually in recovery and I love that sentence. I'm not binge eating one second, I'm not starving myself the next, I am literally at the moment on an even keel and I am super proud of myself. So all of you people out there that are struggling, do not worry because we are all with you, we are all fighting the same fight and we are going to get through it, all of us together. So, you ever need anything, you just pick up your phone or your keyboard or whatever and you just type me a message and you say, Jode, I need to chat. I am here 100% for you all, so please don't ever feel like you're alone because you're really not. I may not know you in person, I may actually know you in person, but I am a listening ear that is here to understand and just let you cry, rant, do whatever it is that you need. So, that being said, let's explain the plans for today. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and pick up Sarah. You guys haven't actually met Sarah yet, and she does come with a health warning. <laughs> She's my best friend, and <laughs> I love her so much, but <laughs> she literally comes with a health warning. Um, so, you'll see what I mean, and I've, warned her that this is family friendly and that I do not want her swearing on my um, YouTube. However, some swears may come out and I can only apologise for that in advance and I will also try and bleep them when it comes to editing. However, <laughs> Sarah is a very loose cannon and you never know what you're gonna get with her. So, I've got the GoPro for in the car. I'm hoping that I can set that up in a second. Um, I have my Canon G7X Mark II for um, while we're out and about. But I also have my Nikon big camera. Um, so I'm hoping to get some shots and, and things like that. So um, we have a couple of things to do. First thing we have to do is go and deliver this to our other friend, Sarah. So there's three of us. Me. <laughs> Sarah and Sarah, so it doesn't get confusing at all. So we have nicknames. There's Lagatha, there's Dillis, and I'm Dory. Of course, I'm always the forgetful one, but today I'm smashing it. So, so far we have present. Now Sarah doesn't have a clue, or Dillis I should say, doesn't have a clue what this is. But we have actually treated her to a new Fitbit. So she has no idea. She's either gonna laugh, cry, or punch us, but it's gonna be so worth it. Um, unfortunately, she isn't feeling confident enough to be on film, so I'm not gonna be filming her reaction. Um, I will let you guys know what she did. Um, you may actually see a black eye or something if she does punch me, so you never know. Anything is possible. But yeah, so, we're gonna go to her house, we're gonna sit in the garden with her um, and the kids. We haven't actually seen her in well over a year, or I haven't seen her in well over a year. Um, all three of us work together, but I got sent home at the beginning of lockdown with underlying health conditions. So I have been working from home now since March the 17th last year. Um, and my two friends, continued working in the office. Yeah, it is quite sort of, <laughs> I don't know whether I'm gonna be a bit of a blubbering mess if I'm quite honest, because it has been far too long since I've seen them. Um, the other Sarah that um, I see regular, we have actually decided to bubble together now so that we can work out three to four times a week. Um, she doesn't drive, so we've had to bubble together so that I can actually pick her up so we can go to where we need to go and things like that. 
Um, so please don't think that we are breaking any COVID rules. We have thought ahead for all of these different things. Um, we all self-isolated before and as I say, we have now created a bubble together so that we are safe and we are able to see each other. So um, yeah. Okay, so we're here. We're ready to pick up Sarah. And I'm going to text her now and say that we're outside and let's see where she is. I'm pretty sure she should be ready. So, I'm here. So, yeah. Like I said, Sarah comes with a health warning. So, I am sorry in advance for any language that may or may not come out of her mouth. Because, well, she is a bit of a loose cannon. And when she's in a mood, who oh boy, do we all know it. So, let's wait for Sarah to arrive. Oh, she's coming. Oh, she has pigtails. Oh, there she is. I can see her. She's here. I have currently advised of the health warning that comes with Sarah. So yes, guys, I'm sorry if um, if there is any swearing in this video. We shall try and edit as much out as possible. <laughs> is a good but girl. the health warning is legit. I swear. So. No, I swear. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. We need to go and get petrol because, like, this I shall show you isn't going to get us anywhere. Like, oh. Oh, there. Okay. See? See? We ain't gonna get to Milford and back on that bad we boy. So we need motion lotion. lotion. Okay, I'm gonna revert back to the GoPro. Hopefully we're not gonna have two more malfunctions. No joke, mate. There was two well, malfunctions. The whole done? thing just it's slid off. Like, it will be fine because it was like, oh yeah, you know, I was dancing along one second <laughs> and I went around the corner and it just went zoosh. <laughs> I was like, the GoPro's at my feet, guys. You know, you're like, you're you're the going on. And I leave you alone with technology. Are you smashed the face up? I didn't smash anything. <laughs> I just may or may not have lost some stuff. Lost did some you equipment. Lose? Did it do any stuff it didn't go the way? No, no, thankfully it only got lost into the footwell. But trying to drive, <laughs> locate a GoPro and steer is not easy, I will have you know. Okay. So yes, you are going to be GoPro monitor. <laughs> I got what? I'm gonna catch you. <laughs> pretty, pretty much, but it might just catch like this way. That's the way it's been choosing to fall. Oh, but yeah. Okay, stay tuned. We are hoping that we have sorted out the GoPro side situation. <laughs> So we are off on our mini adventure. We're currently in Saundersfoot leaving Rob's mum's house. Um, spazzy is being just spazzy over here. I have music in my head. You know, why not? She hears voices all the time, guys. It's scary. Um, Taco is at Nanny's because he is still currently recovering from his leg injury. So the amount of walking that we do, we can't actually bring him with us. Can we? No, because I'm not carrying the dog as well as the bag. This is true. I could just get the little camera bag. See, like I mean, I'm really naughty. I'm trying to train you, but that's just ridiculous. But <laughs> I always give her the big, like, it's because I'm Walt small. Disney World bag, and it's like massive, and <laughs> in there's a massive two bottles. Look, look at it. <laughs> look at it. It's almost as big as I am. <laughs> this is true. Mind you, saying that nothing's going to be smaller than her, is it? Really? <laughs> <laughs> She's funny. Yeah. So, um, we are hopefully going to walk through to step aside but we haven't really decided on the whereabouts yet but we i'm sure we'll keep you posted if i remember because we all know what i'm like Ooh. look at the beautiful place we live and how busy it is because it's being overrun by tourists currently and they're spazzy <laughs> <laughs> I haven't sweared yet. <laughs> Working on it. She hasn't sweared it. I haven't sweared yet. <laughs> I wonder if I can self-censor and just go for... Woohoo! <laughs> 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 
baby. I didn't think that was gonna be. I'm gonna snip that. It's gonna happen. I knew it's so good for like the first three vlogs, and then it's all gonna go to your head in a handbasket. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag hell in a handbasket. Hashtag, it's all gone. Really sideways. <laughs> So we're gonna try and walk across the beach a little bit. Sarah's having like her own personal rave. So just over here, somewhere, that's where we're heading. Maybe potentially further, but we will just see where we stop, where we end up. We tend to figure out that we've got to some place and then we're like, oh wait, no, we've got to turn around and walk back because we don't know where we're going. I've just realized we're walking in water as well and it's flicking all up my trousers and I'm not a fan okay, of this. It's going to be kilky actually. It's actually sand spattered. Do you know what, right? That's a trend. Sand spattered. Flick your sand spatter at me and I'll flick your head into it. That's a bit aggressive. <laughs> but I like how the swearing gets uh, <laughs> censored. Uh, <laughs> threats of assault are <laughs> fine. <laughs> oh. No Sarahs were harmed in the making of this vlog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh jeez. Final cut. Chips are here. <laughs> last time we went out, right? It may not have been the last time actually, it was the time before. So we were in Tembe. And we decided to do, I think we did about seven miles in Tembe or five miles in Tembe. And five um, in Tembe, it was eight the next week. Yeah, okay, five in Tembe, I stand corrected. And eight the next week. Oh, so, good on my horse. We keep debating this. How do people run? Like, how is this enjoyable? Like, we walk. We'd rather but... a nice brisk walk in the sunshine. Yeah, like, I don't understand this whole running thing. So, yeah, anyway, I digress. So, we were in Tembe and we were Stop. walking down Tembe Harbour. Stop. Sorry, I found rowing. And <laughs> we saw, do you mean canoers? <laughs> They're rowing, are they not? So, the paddling. Whatever. So we were in Denver, we were down the harbour and we walked past this camera and we were taking the mickey out of it because you know, we thought Tenby was being filmed for the Tenby programme again, not for Sky <laughs> News. I thought it was next big star, yeah, well, that went a bit like, what? Help, hand basket, side It's all went wrong. So Sky News was down there actually filming um, and interviewing Seven people. For the six o'clock news, but we didn't know this, and we walked past them, <laughs> and then we got blatantly. like collared on the way back. Now I was all right because I had a full face of makeup on, but a really dodgy looking hat, and Sarah didn't. Swamp we... hat activated. That's where we were. I'm going with exercise. I'm like, yeah, leggings, shoe, walking. They're not even walking boots, but I didn't have trainers, so we just went with what we had. And um, Papa Roach really here's a mess. Turns out Sky News does not like Papa Roach because I was totes cut from the final edit. But she was quite impressed with this because she did look a bit like a swamp hag. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, when you have a best friend, you can actually comment swamp hag on an appearance. Hashtag trend activated. <laughs> but today, and every other day since, it's okay because we've managed to get her into her active, active wear. wear with my active hair. <laughs> Look at this. Look, how's this for committed? To work it out there, crosswalks on the beach. Check it out. I don't know if that's a crosswalk, but it is now. It's like a five, six, seven, eight. My boots be very This is guy, this is. Christ, the bike fit that she had in at me. Oh, I've done 150 somethings. I don't know what that was, but. <laughs> this is already what I deal with. Like, seriously, this is my daily life because we work together. And I don't go into this a lot, and I'm not even gonna admit to what it is that we do but we do work for the government so we are your civil servants don't you feel safe with us now i'm trying <laughs> so yeah this, <laughs> this is life this is like day in the life of with sarah and jody vision seriously it's ridiculous it is only encouraging <laughs> Totes a mouse every time we go out. I only need one yes, people. The minute you go, oh, that was funny, you're done for. I don't care how many comments come. Only one yes. Consent is key. We're in the Bat Cave. Tanakamil. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be said. Batman, who the only rescue? Is, I'm slightly blind. You just need to do like us and bubble with your favourite.
with someone. That works smarter, not harder. <laughs> if you yeah. don't want to miss out on Thank this you. with your best friend, make them your other household bubble. Then you're operating within the rules and you don't miss out on friend time. Mic drop. <laughs> Boom! So over here, the big building that we're sort of heading to, that is Wiseman's Bridge Inn. It's a really, 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 really nice pub and currently, I believe, they are actually building an outdoor bar to go with Covid lockdown restrictions and rules and regulations and all that jargon. So yeah, that's fun. So, yes. Apply. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's where we're off to. We're probably going to try, we might even aim for over here, which is Amroth. So, I, I think we can make it to Amros. I'm not entirely sure about making it back, but we can make it to Amros. <laughs> Isn't it ironic? Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? It's like rain on your wedding day. <laughs> 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 rain when you're bored in pain. It's some good advice. But what I would advise pick. is pick your friends I'm carefully because I chose this and now I'm sort of regretting this. That's a lie. Okay, yeah, that is the biggest <laughs> lie that ever. Is a lie. April Fools! <laughs> but she is a bit demented. Like I swear she may be on day release or something. And like they let she... me have kids. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst of it, guys. Like she has mini, mini demons. They're feral. <laughs> they are so actually feral. We have mini feral demons, which is even worse. So yeah, this, this is, is why always we fun. their daddy's problem. <laughs> Dad, you're it. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. So much fun. Wind them up and let them go, just like a spinning top. <laughs> Bye. I would give her the camera, but I'm not too sure what that's she'll not vlog. Safe. Like seriously, we could have all sorts going on and Don't, that's Unless you're emotionally prepared for what I will video and do, do not give me that camera. I'm issuing a health warning now. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Boat. Oh. So that's, on it. <laughs> that's two health warnings. The first being that she swears, so we're gonna have to try and whoop, whoop that. And the other one is that she isn't allowed the camera. But I guess at some point that's gonna have to happen. Well, My arm ain't gonna last really forever. Rough. Ooh, there's been a bit of a, look at this. Oh, this is, rock slide. That's a bit of a landslide. I know that at some point this actual path that we're walking on, was shut due to all of these like rock slides and stuff. So when we get to our next location, which is the Wiseman's Bridge pub, we shall check back in with you guys. We're currently sat on a very old, dodgy, rickety um, bench. It's a bit... I mean, look at the bend that's happening there with two like, people sat on it. <laughs> I'm not saying we're heifers, but this, bri <laughs> this bridge, this bench is definitely I moaning. Could, we talked about bridges. We have all talked about bridges. <laughs> My calves! Calves of steel, mother budger. <laughs> so we decided that we were going to walk over to Amroth, but what we didn't quite plan for was the fact that it is all uphill. Like so literally. Downhill all the way back, and you know, we have to think positive in these situations. <laughs> so, well, we uh, literally 10 seconds ago, <laughs> maybe a bit more because we've been vlogging for 51 seconds again. But what we decided was, next bridge, bench. bench. My God, I've got a fascination with bridges today, sorry. So what we decided was, next bench, we were gonna stop and we were going to refresh and hydrate. So we have one hydration. Thank you, water! Two hydrations. But we've also decided that the shakes the shake break. are coming out. Mm. Oh, that's so cold. So we have, oh. Baby. One that is cafe latte and vanilla for the sassy pants. You're the perfect size for me. And one that is mint choc chip and vanilla for me. Hello again, guys. So we have currently made it to Amroth, um, another beauty spot on our tour of Pembrokeshire. Um, we're 3.6 miles in, and we've just realized that we're currently sat in a bowl, which means we need to go up another hill to go down the other side again, which, okay, the down isn't gonna be too bad, but we gotta go up to go down, Stretch those which, legs. which sucks. Look at them tricep dips going on. I'm cheating, because I'm going back on my heel. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not partaking in tricep dips. So, this is where we are, so I shall show you around a little bit. There's Miss Sassy Pants. Hey, baby. 
We're laughing because there is a fake seagull right here when we live on a coast. So there is lots of actual real life seagulls. So right over here in the distance, you can't really see it, but that's where we've walked from. So this is where we are in Amros now, which is absolutely gorgeous. We're just gonna abandon the stuff. This is the recycled um, trash fish. So this is all washed up trash. Um, and this board isn't great, but it says help us turn the tide on plastic. Take a selfie with, I can't even read half of this. Take a pledge and share it at hashtag clean sea. Bertie, I think. I think it's Bertie, but I think that says clean sea. On Twitter. Yeah. So this board is to show you all of that. But this is the trash fish. Bertie. This is Bertie. And he is actually really beautiful and very big, actually. And I've not actually been down to see it. So I've not been to Amroth in years, which is a shame when we lived here, but this is pretty much all on our doorstep. So it is absolutely beautiful. So we are gonna walk back now to Saundersfoot again. We did accidentally, um, we did accidentally bypass on filming at Wiseman's Bridge, so we'll have to catch that on the way back. But it was more to do with the fact that it was all uphill on really tight little roads, so we didn't want to risk vlogging going up a hill with the traffic behind us. We were trying to be as sort of safe and secure as possible. Um, there is a, another sign here which I will show you to do with plastic pollution and our problem. So this is the plastic pollution sign and it tells you the life of what things live for but as far as i'm aware this is the gentleman that actually built um the bertie and it is saying to you know just things that you can do really and carry reusable bottles which we do and it does say on here take a selfie um and use the hashtag clean seas so that is what we are currently going to do so we will hashtag that um, on my Instagram, which is Jodie Marie Clark, and I will tag little Miss Sassy Pants in it too. So, yeah, we'll catch you in a little bit. Hi, guys! So, we made it to the top of Summer Hill, so we're back up the top of the hill. I'm not gonna lie, we nearly got hit by six cars. Then somebody was nice and actually said thank you to us for standing in the hedge, which we were in the hedge, like literal hedge. So, we have got the down downhill walk now mostly it's a very into, slight incline and then it's mostly downhill into Wiseman's Bridge into Wiseman's Bridge once we get to Wiseman's Bridge we will fill you in only because again it is very very narrow roads and we don't want to be hit by a car concentrating on whether you see our faces or not I mean I'd rather it's not on my top 10 list of things to do today I've got a very busy schedule and <laughs> being in the hospital it's just not gonna work yeah it won't work for me either considering she's my work buddy so mm. you know so we're gonna have a quick pit stop quick drink um, don't forget we, to hydrate. Don't forget to hydrate. We stopped at the Amroth Public Conveniences. I'm not going to lie, they were no stack polky toilets. Three out of ten. They were disgusting. It, to the point where we decided that we would get rabies washing our hands, so we used hand sanitizer instead. But don't worry, we will wash hands once we get home. Smell it is like all hand good. sanitizer. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. We will fill you in when we get to Wiseman's. Tatty bye! Later, baby! So this then, my beautiful people, this is the Wiseman's Bridge Inn pub that we were telling you about. And this is all Wiseman's Bridge Beach. It's not very sandy, but it is a beautiful place to come and sit. And you know, there's parks, parks, there's parking spaces. There is a caravan site just through here, so it is just a lovely place to come and chill out. You know, as Sarah is currently sporting, she is the chilled out version, so. I'm slightly calmer for a moment. Yes. That's only because I've walked a really long way down a lot of hills. <laughs> it was a lot of hills. So, over here in the distance is a little ice cream truck. We're heading for over there. We're not having ice cream, but we're gonna walk back, back across to Saundersfoot. So, we will check in when we get there. Oh, that's made by the fish right in my eyes there. 
We made it. <laughs> we made it. I think we're dead, but we're back at mum in law's house. We weren't vlogging the end of it because we vlogged most of it on the way anyway, so there was no point. But 7.33 miles in just under three hours, so it's not too bad. So we are going to finish the, the vlog right here, right now. And we will see you Any next water? week for another episode of Sarah and Jodie Does. Is that what we're calling it? Okay. Adventures unknown, because we don't actually know until the day where we're going. So we will have to keep you posted. But if you haven't already, check out my Instagram. And that is Jodie Marie Clark. Same as my YouTube. And we will see you all again soon. Thanks, Bye, baby. everyone. Well, thank you very much.